Let's have a look at question 13 in this video. So we have two industries in an economy which have the same marginal cost of production. One of the industry is perfectly competitive, the other one is a monopoly. Now, how can resources be allocated to have a Pareto improvement? So let's work a bit more practical with some examples. For instance, let's say we have two industries of food and clothing. So we produce food and clothing. So we have food production, clothing production. For the sake of the example, let's suppose that in food production we have a perfect competition between firms, perfect competition. In the clothing company, in the clothing industry, we have a monopoly, one single producer. Now, what we also know is that the marginal costs are the same. So if we speak about the marginal costs of production, the ratio of the marginal costs of production, marginal cost for the food company relative to the marginal cost of the clothing industry, better said, let's speak about the industry, the entire industry. What is the ratio of the marginal costs? Recall that that is the MRT. That is the MRT. And because they are equal, the marginal costs are equal, the ratio is going to be equal to one. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Now, what do we need to have equilibrium in the economy? We need to have also this equation with the um, MRS. So the MRS for the consumers, the MRS. And in equilibrium, we know that the MRS has to have the same ratio, which means the ratio of prices, the price of food relative to the price of clothing, must also equal to one. That would be ideal in equilibrium. But let's see what's happening at the moment. At the moment, we know that in the clothing industry we have just one monopolist and we know a property of the monopolist that he charges more than the marginal cost so the price of clothing from the monopolist is higher than the marginal cost uh, from the clothing industry from the monopolist so at the moment we do not have this equilibrium condition because the price and the marginal cost in the case of the clothing company is different but in the case of the uh, perfect competition in the in the food industry we know that because there is perfect competition, they charge the price equals to marginal cost. They charge as the last cost of production, of, of the, at the production cost of the last unit. Price equals to marginal cost in the case of the food industry. So what we need now, what we need now is to make these prices between the food industry and the clothing industry the same. And since the monopolist has power in the market, we would like to find a way for the food companies to have power in the market and one option is that they will combine and make a team together they will cooperate together so to speak I think the better word is called collude it, uh, anyway the idea is that they would work together to have the power on the market they would say let's not choose let's let's not be uh, segmented let's be together so that the consumers can only come to one company we're not gonna be many firms producing food we're gonna be one firm producing food so all the firms in the food business is gonna cooperate to become one entire monopoly so that the food production is also gonna be monopolized so to speak so in that case they will be able to charge above marginal cost and they will be able to raise the prices as the clothing company so they will be able be able to raise the prices and why are they gonna be able why are they gonna raise the price as the clothing company because their marginal costs are the same so they're gonna do so until the prices are, all, are also equal since the marginal costs are already equal to be in equilibrium to exhaust all the possibilities from trade they are also going to make the prices equal so after they become a monopoly in the market they're gonna raise the price until the price of the food production is gonna equal to the price of the clothing production, which are both gonna be cases of monopolies. And in that case, the ratio is gonna become equal to one. Since the marginal cost ratio is already one and the prices are gonna become equal, that's gonna equal to one. So after this move of the perfect competition into a monopoly, this equilibrium condition will hold where the MRT is gonna equal to the MRS. And that's how we're going to have a Pareto improvement and even a Pareto optimality when the MRT equals to the MRS, so the property of the general equilibrium overall. Hope this makes sense. We are done.